been happening. Our teens were at White Sox Park for a radio station promotion called Anti Disco. Between games at tonight's doubleheader, a local disc jockey blew up disco records in center field, and a crowd responded by rush field. Police moved in, and it took them a considerable amount of time. A bonfire had been built in the middle of center field. Police tried to clear the unruly crowd, pushed them out, finally got them off the field. So again, it took a long time, perhaps some arrests, it's hard to tell. Some people appear to be taken into custody. We don't know the exact nature of everything that's gone on out there so far, but new Center 5 staffer Mike Pumo is out there at uh, Comiskey Park, and we have him on the phone right now. Jim. Yes, what's the what's the current situation? They just canceled the second game. They canceled the second game because the because of, uh, the field is unplayable as determined by the umpires. Also, would they have run into a problem with the fact that uh, they had such a long delay because of this? Yeah, there's a 1 a.m. curfew, and so they would have had to complete the game. But no injuries were reported in the melee. This jockey Dole has held two similar rallies to stage blow-ups of disco records, each one resulting in a similar disturbance by youthful crowds. As we say, the second game... ...on fire in center field, and they also ripped up some turf in front of the pound, about a foot, a foot wide and about 10, 12 feet long. And uh, they had a meeting with Sparky Anderson and Don Kessinger and Bill Vecht, and one of the supervisors of the others was here, along with a head umpire. And uh, after that meeting, I guess they've decided to cancel the game. Okay, any injuries that you know of? Not that I know of. I have no reports of any arrests either as of right now. Greg Gumbel's got some more on that well, you know, right now. I've been planning to, to cover that particular story for about yeah. a week and a half now, and the dicky involved, Steve Dahl. Is that the guy who was cracking the record yeah, of the Yeah, you'll see him in okay. a second. But, you know, he doesn't really plan to have anything like this happen. And, uh, you know, I know he's probably got a lot of flack for it, and it's undeserved. But, you know, we'll talk more about okay. that as the week goes on. A packed house out at Comiskey Park tonight on Teen Night, and there was more happening, of course, than just the twine header scheduled with the Detroit Tigers in that first game and the only game as it turned out the Tigers practically stole White Sox catcher Mike Colburn blind in game one they got their first run on a wild throw to second base and then they scored their first run and our second run Tom Brookins tripled into the left field corner to make it a two to nothing game Greg Pryor drove in the only watch run of the game with a triple down into the left field corner and here comes Rusty Torres around to score but the Tigers went on to win it by a score of four to one and of course game two was canceled with all the activity is happening out between games. Then on team night, WLUP held a disco demonstration. We'll talk about that a little bit more, too. But game two was canceled out there this evening. As we said, uh, between game activities, the main attraction, the disco demolition spearheaded by Morning Ray and Steve Dahl and his anti-disco army called the Insane Coho Lips. Earlier, I asked Steve just what he has against disco. Well, the first thing I have against, I can never find a white three-piece suit that fits me off the rack. <laughs> so, I hate the taste of pina coladas. I don't, I'm allergic to gold jewelry, so there's nothing there for me. Uh, I'm a cheapskate. I don't like to waste a lot of money at home, you know, in terms of my electrical bill, and you have to spend so much time blow-drying your hair. It's a waste of energy. Okay, I'm ecologically meaningful and cheap, so I'm not into it. I'd like to, uh, if I could, show you how we uh, destroy the disco records. And uh, this is how I do it. I have to kind of get worked up a little bit. Psych job. Yeah, I chant to myself, <laughs> coho lips, coho lips. And... Oh, that felt good. <laughs> Well, worthy as the cause may be, the idea of the game was up disco records in a box out in the middle of center field. That did happen, but after that is when the fans overran the field. We have other baseball news today. The Cubs, after a long rain delay in Cincinnati, are finally playing. They are underway. They are scoreless in the third inning at Cincinnati. The Cubs have a chance to gain a full game on the Montreal Expos because the 